To kick off this week, I want to give a big congratulations to Ag Daily's associate editor, Casey Holshoff, who just became a first time mom. Her son is now the newest member of the next generation of Ag. And while we know that there is a lot of excitement happening in her family, I want to come now and show you a little bit of what else is exciting that's been happening this week in agriculture. Welcome to episode 10 of Ag Daily's New Ground video series, where we look at everything that's fun and fascinating in the world of agriculture. My name is Ryan Tips. I'm the managing editor for Ag Daily. If you like what you see today, please hit those like and subscribe buttons on whatever platform you're watching this on. We don't want you to miss a thing. Let's dive right in. Probably the most exciting news in global agriculture and for science in general is that genetically engineered golden rice got a key biosafety permit in the Philippines, which now means it's basically on the verge of being grown at production scale. This is the first authorization for commercial propagation of a genetically engineered rice in South Asia and Southeast Asia. As most people know, rice is a food staple in this region. And golden rice contains enough beta carotene to meet as much as 50% of the estimated average requirement of vitamin A for children aged six months to five years, the group that's most at risk of vitamin A insufficiency. This is a huge win for science as activist groups led by Greenpeace have sought for years to block golden rice from food insecure regions of the world. This week, the Farmland brand, which is part of Smithfield Foods, recognized Nebraska FFA for its positive impact on the community and on the state in general, with a $5,000 donation to the organization. The gift is part of the 2021 Honoring the Heartland Tour, an initiative launched by Farmland in June to show appreciation for the honest work and tireless commitment in Midwest farming communities, agricultural industries, and retail establishments and to support the next generation of farmers, of course. Farmland then did everyone one better and donated 40,000 pounds of protein to a food pantry in Omaha, Nebraska. That's the equivalent of 160,000 servings. Kudos, Farmland, and thank you for your generosity. Social media lit up early this week when land-grant scientist Kevin Folta announced that anti-GMO activist Jeffrey M. Smith requested to be on Folta's Talking Biotech podcast. So many questions. Folta was eager to ask Smith things like, why did he want to be heard by Folta's audience? Was he going to publicly recant his 20 years of failed claims? Was he going to provide some blockbuster evidence that everything we know about genetically engineered food is false? Folta also wanted to dive into COVID-19 vaccines and Smith's fear-mongering. It would have been an amazing conversation. Alas, it was not meant to be. The day the podcast was supposed to record, Smith's people called and Smith canceled on Kevin Folta. It's a shame because I would have loved to have seen how a discussion like that would have brought more and more people over to team science. Our spotlight feature this week looks at the legacy of the man everyone knows as James Harriet the British veterinarian who wrote a slew of inspirational books. Harriet's real name was James Alfred White, and his All Creatures Great and Small book series impacted generations of veterinarians and animal lovers the world over. The author was able to blend his charm, wit, and realism with a healthy dash of creativity into everything he did. There are likely countless veterinarians and other agriculturalists who owe at least a part of their career to the beloved Dr. Harriet. This piece is definitely worth a read. I hope you enjoyed this wrap up of the week in agriculture. If you want any evidence that the world is starting to return a little bit to normal, I'm gonna to present to you right now exhibits A and B, which are the conference and the trade show that I'm gonna be going to over the next two weeks. It'll be a whirlwind of a time but for those of you who follow these new ground videos, 
it's likely that we're gonna be taking the next couple weeks off just because of the traveling and getting caught up with family time and everything afterward. But that does not mean that Ag Daily is gonna go silent. Of course, we're gonna to continue to post often every day and we encourage you to check out agdaily.com, our video platform agdailytv.com and all of our social channels because with everything going on these next couple weeks, it'll be very active, very busy, and we hope that you contribute to the discussion. Have a good day.